Thank you very much. We move on to the next item of business, which is topical questions, which is the one question today from Alex Cole Hamilton. Thank you very much, Presiding Officer. Do you ask the Scottish Government what its response is to the not for profit energy supply company, Our Power, going out of business? Cabinet Secretary Aileen Campbell. Thank you. Thank you. It is disappointing and sad that Our Power has had to cease trading. The Scottish Government has supported Our Power in its aim of tackling fuel poverty since 2015, supplying low cost energy to households in Scotland. Our immediate response is focused on looking after the interests of the customers and the staff of Our Power. The independent regulator, Ofgem, are now in the process of appointing a new supplier to take over Our Power's customers. Customers are protected and no one will be cut off as a result of the change in supplier. Ofgem advises for customers to take a current meter reading and wait to be transferred automatically to a new supplier. In due course, we will provide further support to our power customers as needed, for example, through our Home Energy Scotland service. This is a worrying time, though, for our power's employees in Edinburgh, and we have offered support through our Partnership Action for Continuing Employment, PACE. PACE aims to minimise the time individuals affected by redundancy are out of work, and we're making this help available immediately. We will also work with our powers partners to identify any further employment opportunities for these highly skilled and experienced staff. Alice Cole Hamilton. I'm grateful to the Minister for that reply. 70 people in Edinburgh are fearing for their jobs and I welcome uh, her commitment to supporting them through PACE. Our power's plight is a shame for staff, customers and the prospect of healthier competition in the energy supply market. Backers included housing associations and of course the government. So can I ask, when were the Ministers first told about the company's cash flow problems and did it uh, seek any reassurances or to intervene at that point? What is the total financial backing for provided to our power by the Scottish Government? What was the balance of loans and grants and what Minister's expectations were for recovering these? And finally, can the Minister confirm where staff stand in relation to other creditors in the event of the company's demise? Cabinet Secretary. Well, we were uh, informed of their collection difficulties found uh, and that formal request was put into us on the 21st of December. Uh, of course, though, as a foundation lender to our power, our relationship with our power has been long standing and we've continued to always uh, be supportive in that relationship. Uh, Alec Hamilton is right, though, to point out the other uh, lenders as well. This was an enterprise designed to try and tackle fuel poverty and to try and do something different in this uh, market. And it shouldn't be forgotten that over three and a half years, this company has been providing low cost energy to largely social uh, housing, the social housing uh, sector. Uh, the staff, though, I understand absolutely, it is a real worry and it will be a worrying time for the staff, the 70 uh, staff who uh, are mostly in the Craig Miller area of uh, Edinburgh. And again, I would reiterate our offer around the, the Partnership Action for Continuing Employment Scheme to ensure that there is a speedy and effective response to their uh, imminent plight. Uh, I'm happy to engage with the member uh, in any other details, of course, uh, for by the, the exchange that we'll have today. Uh, but we'll continue to uh, work with our power where we can provide support. Uh, and the final point, I think, was that it was a 9.5 million uh, uh, loan that has been uh, provided to uh, our power over these years. But again, it has been a, a facilitative, uh, constructive relationship that we've had with our power over the years, uh, based on the fact that we are the foundation lender. Alice Cole Hamilton. I'm grateful for that reply. Not for profit, tackling fuel poverty, socially responsible, a fair deal for customers. That's what our power stood for. And the Scottish Government wants the same principles to underpin its own new energy company. Our power chairman, Alistair Seal, said that it is now generally accepted that it is unclear what level of financial backing is required for a new entrant to cope with market volatility and regulatory uh, change. In the last year, 11 small energy companies have ceased operating. So can I ask the Cabinet Secretary, what has the Scottish Government learned from this recent volatility in the market? Have its own plans for an energy company altered at all? Has it learned or shared learning with local authorities thinking about similar ventures? And finally, has its outlined business case been concluded? What guarantees are there that it is a safe use of taxpayers' money? Cabinet Secretary. And again, uh, Alec Hamilton raises very legitimate and important points. And of course, uh, I think we'll give that commitment to take any learning that we can from the experience 
uh, that we've gone through with uh, our power. Uh, in terms of the relationship between our power and the creation of a public energy company, of course, we're continuing to develop proposals that will deliver the ambition of a public energy company uh, and we're on track to deliver that ambition by the end of this parliament. And of course, my colleague Paul Wheelhouse has lead responsibility uh, for that work uh, and will be taking uh, due cognizance of the points that Alec Cole uh, Hamilton uh, makes. But of course, we can't wait for the UK government or for the market to deliver lower fuel prices for Scottish consumers and our power public energy company will support Scottish government ambitions for energy consumers. It's about consumer confidence and choice. <coughs> And over half of consumers remain on standard variable tariffs, currently the most uh, expensive. Uh, the public energy company therefore forms part of a, of a solution complementing the Scottish Government's much wider work on energy consumers and on fuel poverty. And again, we'll uh, endeavour to make sure that uh, any member with a concern as a result of this is uh, furnished with the, the facts and the, uh, uh, any developments on this. Alexander Burnett. Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer, and can I note my members to my Register of Interests in Renewable Energy. Uh, so can I ask the Scottish Government what existing similar loans uh, are on the Government's books and what assessment of these has been done for the coming financial year? Cabinet Secretary. Yeah. Uh, um, certainly in terms of, uh, as it relates to the power industry, I think this is the only uh, area that we uh, have committed to this uh, enterprise. Uh, but if there are, we can make sure that we get any information to him on that basis, but certainly from our, from our perspective, this is something that was a new an attempt to try and find a way to uh, help uh, people who are in predominantly in so, who are social tenants to have access to low cost uh, power and it has done so for three and a half uh, years. Uh, again, it is just, uh, I suppose it reiterates and underlines how disappointing it is that the, ultimately it, it hasn't quite uh, succeeded in this case. Uh, but um, if there are any further uh, enterprises such as this, we'll ensure that Alexander Burnett uh, is made aware of that. Thank you very much. And that concludes topical questions. Now we're finished uh, rather abruptly, so I'm just going to suspend very shortly to allow members and ministers to change seats. Short suspension.